Wisdom, the final frontier to true knowledge. Welcome to Wisdom Trek, where our mission is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your captain on our journey to increase wisdom and create a living legacy. Thank you for joining us today as we explore wisdom on our second millennium of podcast. This is day 1027 of our trek, and it's time for our three-minute mini trek called Humor Unplugged. Our Thursday podcast will provide a short and clean funny story to help you to lighten up and live a rich and satisfying life. Something to cheer you and provide a bit of levity to your life. We are told in Proverbs chapter 15 verse 30, A cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. We are also encouraged in Proverbs chapter 17 verse 22, A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Consider this your vitamin supplement of cheer for today. So let's jump right in with today's funny, which is titled, Walking on Water. For his entire life, Dewey Winthrop IV was told the story about how his father, his grandfather, and his great-grandfather had all walked on water on their 21st birthdays. Feeling that this was his divine destiny to continue on with this tradition, on his 21st birthday, Dewey and his younger brother Damon headed out to the lake. If they can do it, I can too, Dewey insisted. When Dewey and Damon arrived at the lake, they rented a canoe and began paddling. They got out in the middle of the lake, and Dewey stepped off the side of the boat, and immediately plunged beneath the surface and nearly drowned. After being rescued by Damon, a furious and somewhat embarrassed Dewey headed for home. When Dewey arrived back at his family home very distraught, he asked his grandmother for an explanation. Grandma, why can't I walk on water like my father and his father and his father before him? His sweet old grandmother took Dewey by the hand, then gently held his face and looked into his eyes and explained, That's because your father, your grandfather, and your great-grandfather were born in January. You were born in June, my dear one. And I hope that brought a smile to your face today. And Thursday thought is, if you intend to walk on water, you must have a firm foundation. Thursday scripture reference is Matthew chapter 24, verse 28. Then Peter called to him, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. Well, just as you enjoy these nuggets of humor, please encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of our past 1,026 treks or read the Wisdom Journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow for Philosophy Friday.